Hey everybody, it's burger review time again. Today we are at the Baxter Bar and Grill inside the Arrow Arrowwood Lodge. All right, so I got the Cowboy Burger. Um, I ordered a medium as usual. The Cowboy Burger comes with bacon, uh, barbecue sauce, American cheese, and supposedly homemade onion rings, but they don't look homemade to me. They look like the regular old, old buy them, throw them in the deep fryer. All right, we got pickles, lettuce, tomato, onions on the side. I'm not sure if we're gonna want those for this burger. We'll just keep those aside. They, they come with uh, Romano and chive french fries. We technically don't review the fries. But you know what? They're pretty good. We got a nice seasoning on here. Nice big chunks of kosher salt. You know? French fries are pretty good. All right. Let's uh, get a hold of this mama jama here. She's pretty big. As usual, I ordered it medium. All right. So two minute burger review. Um, 10 is the best. All right, let's give it a shot here. Hmm. It's got a really nice charred grilled flavor for sure, but that sucker is well done for sure. There is no medium in there whatsoever. Those onion rings are definitely not homemade. But you know it's fine. You don't have to you don't have to make onion rings. French fries, ketchup, bread. Tortillas. I'm not expecting you to make that stuff from scratch, but don't put on your menu that you have fresh in house, you know, homemade onion rings. And then obviously have pre made onion rings. That's a pretty, pretty lame to me. I'm not going to hold it against you because it's technically a burger review. But yeah, look at that. That is a well done burger for sure. That takes a that takes a good old point off for sure. Um, it's got good flavor, but man, it's dry. It definitely could have uh, could have been taken off the grill a couple minutes earlier. One more bite here. I'll give you official official word on it. The barbecue sauce is a little sweet. The bun is way under toasted. Like it's hardly toasted at all. Like, it's just, it's almost like they just warmed up the bun. So that definitely takes a couple chunks down. It's got great flavor. The bun is, you know, it is what it is. It's a bun. Good combination of, like, the American cheese, barbecue sauce, onion ring. It makes a good combination. I think the barbecue sauce is a little too sweet. Um... You know, for me personally, I, I, I prefer a, a barbecue sauce that's kind of sweet hot. And there is no heat to this whatsoever. It is it is sweet baby rays all the way. But, you know what? Overall, it's a pretty gosh darn good burger. I'm going to give it a 6.5. This probably would have been a 7.5 if it would have been cooked properly. And... Uh, and the the bun was uh, was a little crispier, so you know that's a solid review. You know, I say it, it, six point five. I'm taking a full point off for overcooked meat and undercooked bread. Um, so that's a that's a pretty good review. It's a good burger. I'd eat it again for sure. These fries are really good. I do like the fries. I'm going to give the fries an unofficial best fries I've had on a burger review so far for not officially 
reviewing fries. These are the best ones. So, I don't have anything to disclose. I never worked here before. I don't even think I've ever really ate here before. I came here for a few years ago for a Trampled by Turtles concert. Probably eight years ago. I think I was working at Bar Harbor then. So I might have ate or had a beer here then, but I don't, I'm not even sure about that. I don't know if I've ever ate here before. Pretty good burger. Will eat again, or would eat again if I eat a lot of burgers. I think I'm going to get burnt out on eating burgers as many reviews as I'm going to end up doing here in the next couple of years. But you know what? Solid burger for sure. This place was uh, kind of dead too. There was, it was uh, only like one table here at noon on a Monday, which, you know, it's noon on a Monday. But I've never heard anybody talk about this place before. So if you haven't come to the Baxter Bar and Grill inside the Arrowhead Lodge, which is uh, it's just, just up from Jack Pine Brewery, maybe they get some decent business from there. I don't know, but if you ever had Jack Pine and you're like, man, I need a bite to eat, come place, check this place out. Not too bad. 6.5 on the Cowboy Burger. Would have been a 7.5. Would have been a 7.5 if it would have been properly cooked and the bun would have been toasted better. All right. Thanks for watching.